Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best selling author, and the only three time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Do you want to become insanely successful? Do you want to be the go-to guru in your industry? Do you want to be talked about for all the right reasons? For over 40 years, Kevin Harrington has helped people just like you become significant influencers. Now he's broken the process down in the key person of influence roadmap, and it's yours for free. Just text KPI to him at 727-888-2100. Text KPI to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free step-by-step guide. Text KPI to 727-888-2100 to get the recognition you deserve and experience the success as the go-to voice everyone listens to in your industry today. Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast. I am your co-host, Seth Green. With me is Kevin Harrington, the inventor of the infomercial and the original shark on Shark Tank. Kevin, thanks so much for joining us. Great to be here, Seth. Looking forward to today. I know we got a great guest, too. So Absolutely. Look- Jake sure. Randall of TaxBot. Um, I, I won't do as good a job telling you what TaxBot is as Jake will. Jake, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. A pleasure to be here. All right. So we're, as entrepreneurs, we are biased in your favor and we have a whole lot of listeners who can benefit from your application. What is TaxBot? So at its core, TaxBot is uh, an expense tracking application that's focused on tax. Like if you get audited, you're not going to be protected by a QuickBooks file or anything like that. The IRS wants proof of what you're doing. So we kind of went back to the drawing board and, and built this business around making an easy to use application that would actually hold up to an audit. Uh, the IRS wins almost nine out of 10 of the audits. And the number one reason is because they don't have the backup data to support their financials. So that's kind of where we started with that. Okay. So TaxBot is an expense tracking app for business owners and professionals to protect them in case of an IRS audit. And of course, to make sure they get as many tax deductions as they're entitled to. What's, what inspired you to start it? So I actually, um, met my current partners, one of which is, uh, his name is Sandy Botkin. He's a former head of training for the IRS. And I was in a marketing position and we kind of got to know each other. And uh, he started teaching me this concept that most small business owners overpay their taxes by like tens of thousands of dollars every year. And it's not because they're missing like checking a box on their tax return, proactively qualify for something that would unlock some tax savings for them. So Um, he was showing me this and my mind was just blown. And so we actually started uh, training small business owners and and we do still do training. That's a big part of our business right now, which we'll talk about probably a little bit later. But um, we just found this mission of teaching small business owners, like how to play the game, how to play the tax game, how to win. And it's not your accountant's job. It's your job to figure that out. And so we started teaching people. And then we also were teaching people like, well, and here's the things that you need to make sure you have to be bulletproof uh, in case of an audit. And we realized that we weren't, we didn't have a, a, a tool or a service or nobody had a tool or a service to kind of fulfill that need. And that's kind of where we got started. We said like, let's just go soup to nuts and let's figure out a solution for both helping them find the deductions, tracking the deductions to make sure they stay compliant. And then really even, you know, figure out how to grow their business and, and introducing them to people like you guys to help them get the whole spectrum. So you mentioned something, you said we'll talk about it, but it, it's something I was thinking of to begin with, how you train your clients and, and, you know, the seminar approach. Walk, walk us through that side of your business. Yeah, so um, our business is really interesting because most people don't know they have a problem, right? They're very problem unaware. And so we really have to kind of start with sort of an educational approach. And so most of our lead generation and things like that is through educational marketing. You know, we've got a free book that's, that we offer, you know, that teaches them seven simple ways to avoid paying taxes. We do webinar trainings and we, we kind of bring them in with this, um, aha moment of you're probably missing out on at least $10,000 in free money that you're just donating to the IRS. The general rules and the general rules of the game are you need to know what's possible so you can at least have a conversation with your accountant. Um, unless you're, you know, doing really well and have enough money to have a full-time accountant and a team of attorneys and things like that, uh, you're just not, ha- you don't have anybody looking proactively for you. And if you think about like just the tax preparer, a regular tax preparer in the, in the normal uh, course of the year, 
they do 90% of their business in like six weeks in, in April, uh, March and April. And they're doing like two to 300 tax returns each. So you're sharing your account with 300 other people. So you just, they just don't have time to really give you the service you need. So we go back and we actually teach them in like layman's terms. And we say, you know, we teach them, okay, here's how vehicle deductions work. And here's, th- you know, did you know that you could, if you buy a vehicle, the right type of vehicle on December 31st, you could write off hundred percent of that vehicle uh, in that year. So if you need a big tax deduction before the end of the year, that might be an option. And, and we get, give them a bunch of different strategies and tips. Um, and we have some seminars and things like, like that. that we give an example of somebody, I always love to hear about a magical transformation, right? So do, do you have anybody, any client that you don't have to mention names, but just re- referencing what may be the power you brought to, to their situation and talk about it a little bit? Yeah, I got, I got two um, really good ones. One is um, we actually just did this kind of recently. Um, we, we invited seven strangers to bring their tax returns into our office um, for a little bit of an experiment. We got the camera crews there and everything like that. And we had to fill out a one page questionnaire and um, we, this was a little bit higher level yeah. service. Right? So one page questionnaire, bring their tax return in. We yeah. sat down and we had 10 minutes and in 10 minutes we found $10,000 of missed opportunities for each one of them. Mm. So every one of them came in with their eyes, like thinking they were pretty confident that they got most of what they deserved and they all were really surprised that we found that money. Now we then sat down with them and trained them to do next, how to actually go and claim that money. Um, but it was really uh, just, I mean, it was awesome. All seven of them, less the average time is like four and a half minutes or something like that. Um, and so that another was one, all uh, new spin on the Geico commercial. It saved $10,000 in four and a half minutes. Yeah, maybe there's like a merger we can do with them or something. <laughs> so <laughs> how many active users of TaxBot are there now? So we have uh, about 100,000 people that are, are using TaxBot um, in one form or another. Um, and then more on our educational products and things like that. But on our core software, that's... How'd you come up with the, the term bot in, in the name of the company? What, to give us the evolution of that. <laughs> so there's, I have two other partners, right? And, um, and they're from a different generation. So they had some really strange ideas for names of uh, the company that they wanted to, to name. But honestly, it came down to what kind of web properties we could find. And so we had this massive list. It's kind of an interesting story though. We, we ended up finding tax bot and we weren't really thinking, we were kind of thinking like, a, you know, somebody that does something for you robot came into the mix and we didn't even realize that one you know our guru that we built the business around originally was named sandy botkin and so it had bot in it already it just kind of was a coincidence but we ended up buying that from um a gentleman one of the, the executives that works at uh liberty tax that he had it for like 20 years and we only bought it for 250 bucks so wow kind of a steal <laughs> yeah Okay. We noticed that uh, you have our friend Russell Brunson's uh, Two Comma Club Award on the wall behind you. Talk a little bit about the funnel that drove over a million dollars in business for TaxBot. Yeah, so um, for us, like I said before, it's a lot about education. So um, we have sort of a multi-step approach, but we started with um, you know a free book. Like we have this really quick read book um, that you can read, Seven Simple Ways to Avoid Paying Tax Legally. And that sort of introduces them to the concept and then we upsell them into, and then we have sort of a next level um, program where we really dive deep with them and teach them uh, in a course format, uh, all the tips and tricks and, and ways that they could deduct uh, things on their taxes. And so we um, really lead with education and we kind of transition them into software and further education uh, down the funnel. Congratulations, that's not easy to do. So you've obviously done that very well. Um, what are, other than not tracking things, what are some of the biggest mistakes we as business owners are making? You talked about not tracking and you talked about sharing an accountant with 300 other people. What are some of the other mistakes that we're making that are causing us to overpay so much? Yeah, so I would say <clears throat> a big one is that most people are not, um, they're not actually making a plan, right? They're, they're, they're totally just being reactive. They get to December 31st, they haven't planned anything. And so then they get, they go meet with their accountant and they're saying, or, and they say, what can I do now to save money on taxes? That's like trying to come back to a basketball game after it's over and say, what can I do to win this game? Um, and, and so it's, it's really about just understanding that it's proactive things that you do that unlock the tax savings uh, for business owners. It's not reactive things. And so I know taxes are something that nobody wants to think about, right? And so sometimes there's this, this concept of um, just 
doing it once a year. And really the, one of the best things that, that somebody could do is just set up a con consultation with your accountant in their slow season. Call them in the summer, take them to lunch and just say, hey, look, you know, what are some other your clients do or some of that things? And it, you'll be surprised. It's, it's, I have almost never had anybody take their account out to lunch and make at least 10 times back their money <laughs> for buying their account at lunch. It's just, but it's something you got to do during the, the slow season. And that would, that's one of the biggest mistakes. people. There's make. a new national holiday. Take your accountant to lunch day. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to overlap that with like donut day or something, right? So, so how, how do you deal with like tax changes? Um, is, is this a, a, a is this a good thing for you as as tax bot because you're on top of it and your bots can can you know move around very quickly to help people with the new laws and things that are that are happening? Yeah, it's interesting. So we definitely stay on top of everything, um, and we we're all constantly making the updates to the software to make sure it's it's totally compliant. And um, and on on that note too, we also change the education. So whenever something new comes out that that would impact those people, uh, you know, we we teach them about it. We tell them that most people, um, it's been interesting in the marketplace. I mean, we've got the new tax law that passed, right? And, and it's, it's pretty good for business owners. And so a lot of people have maybe inadvertently given too much stock in saying, oh, it's, well, it's taken care of because they passed new laws. Um, my tax rate's lowered, so I'm good. Um, but the laws actually changed and some of the strategies changed uh, a little bit too. And so um, there's still some huge opportunity on the table for people to do the things that they should have been doing before planning, meeting with their accountant in the off season, because too many people are just saying, oh, well, it's been taken care of for me. They waved the magic wand in, in Congress and got it done. And while it was a huge improvement and we're big fans, uh, there's still things you can do to just amp that up quite a bit. So if I do the math, I have 100,000 users, you're talking about saving an average of $10,000 if they do everything you tell them or more. That's maybe at least 10 million bucks you've pulled back from the IRS. Um, how do they feel about that? <laughs> so honestly, so we, we kind of ran some numbers and um, when you run, like when we've kind of gone through and looked at all the things, like, cause we get access to the data, right? And it's actually several billion dollars in tax deductions that we've found for people. And so, you know, we're probably close to a billion dollars in tax savings from our clients. Um, and that's, those are the active people, right? We've had people that have gone out of business or, or moved on to another business and stuff too, but, or they've grown out. Cause truthfully, TaxBot was built for the, entrepreneur the startup before you have a team like once you're big enough to have like an accounting team and stuff um you know it's not really built for that that platform so we we like to see and help our people grow out of the niche that we serve so we need to get you a sign like mcdonald's where it says billions and billions of dollars saved <laughs> yeah we i actually asked my programmers if we could do like a live clock and they're like that would be so cool <laughs> <laughs> they're looking into it right now you could build a funnel around that <laughs> tax savings clock yeah just to compete with the debt clock, right? Where, yes. where are you based, by the way? Based in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake. Okay, great. Yeah. Other than the billion saved, what do you like best about what you do? So honestly, it's kind of like a little bit of a dopamine rush. Um, when you see someone's eyes light up, when they realize that like, holy crap, I got an extra 10,000 or 15,000 bucks sitting in my business. And for most of our clients, that's a big deal, right? 10, an extra 15 grand a year is life changing. And so it's, it's really cool to see that light, light bulb go off. Um, and, and that's kind of like the biggest dopamine rush for me. Uh, obviously, the, we don't like to see our clients audited and stuff, but it is, it is cool to know that they're protected. But that, that light, mo light bulb moment is, just never gets old. All right. So for our listeners and viewers who are excited about the prospect of recovering ten dollars to $15,000 back to their bottom line, where is the best place for them to go to learn more about TaxBot? Um, I would just uh, go to taxbot.com. Okay, that was taxbot.com or taxbot.com forward slash book? Yeah. Okay, awesome, Jake. We greatly appreciate your time. We know it's incredibly valuable. We look forward to the billions more you're going to save the TaxBot users. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having hey, me. Jake, good hanging with you today. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everybody, for listening and watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Do you need money to fund your idea, product, or service? Are you ready to take your business to the next level but need capital to get it done? Kevin Harrington has heard more than 50,000 pitches and knows how to help you make the perfect pitch to get the funding for your entrepreneurial dream. He's distilled the process down in his perfect pitch cheat sheet and it's yours for free. Just text PITCH to him right now at 
727-888-2100. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free Perfect Pitch Sheet. sheet. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 to start funding your dream today. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.